coming up. Build a top of the line teepee tent. Make your own drink carton catamaran. Squish up a super bouncing ball. And count how many crackers you can cram into one mouth. Crumbs! That's one competition I reckon I could win hands down. Boys, why do they like doing disgusting things? I think it's time to retreat to the girls' tent with Olivia and Carrie Ann. <coughs> Carrie Ann and Olivia look like they're into secret girls' business. Ha! Huh, Daniel and I are going to sneak up on them. Rah! Let us in, you girls. Come on. Hmm. It's only a pretty pop-up tent anyway. I think we should build a boys-only tent with real attitude. Come on. OK, now what do we need to pull this off? These plastic pipes will be perfect for what I've got in mind. We'll have this rope too, and the usual tent designer's tools. And, aha! This old plastic is just what we need. Let's go. All right, down to business. What I'm thinking of is a traditional TP design. This is gonna be so much better than the girls' puny tent. In no time, we'll turn this pile of plastic pipes into a TP that'll be the envy of the neighborhood. <laughs> when I get home from school, I'm always starving. Choc chip cookies, yum! Hey, Fraser is such a meanie. My mouth is watering just watching Fraser eat. Time to get him back for teasing my taste buds. Greedy guts won't be able to resist my clever trick. I've got a cup of water and this jar of crackers. There's five for you, Fraser. Here's your challenge. If you can eat them all in less than five minutes, you can have all my cookies tomorrow afternoon. One catch. You can't have any water. Are you ready to crumble? Go. The first cracker is going down okay. Number two, and he's slowing down. On to the third, and Fraser is drying up. Cracker number four, and Fraser is struggling. It's as dry as a desert in his mouth right now. When stimulated by eating, or even just thinking about it, saliva glands release moisture needed to soften food and make it easy to swallow. That's why we sometimes need a drink to help wash down our meal. Ha! He's failed the cracker challenge. Want a drink? Whoops. That'll teach you to be a greedy guts. Good one, Kimberly. Just proves that girls are smarter than boys. Ha! You're about to eat your words, Dana. Just you wait till you see Zach and Daniel's terrific little teepee tent. Let's get going on our top of the line teepee. By the time it's finished, the girls will be begging us to let them inside. So, our traditional design calls for a cone shape. So I'll tie the ropes around my marker pen. Hang on to that end, Daniel. This will help me draw a perfect curve. Round I go. There. Now I'll cut along my line. Next, Daniel will draw a rectangle in the top corner. And I'll cut that out too. OK, now for the pipes. Weave the rope in and out of the three of them. And tie a knot. Now we'll stand it up like a tripod. I bet the girls are wondering what's going on. They'll soon find out. Now, we'll add all the other poles. Great, that's eight. Now, I'll run the rope around the top a few times. And our plastic is ready to go on. Around it goes. And I'll hold it in place with a peg. Excellent! Puts the girls' tent to shame. Let's get inside. It's starting to cloud over. Welcome to sculpture class, Jordan style. 
What else do we have around here to make a sculpture with? Aha! What about these metal nuts? And what better to go with metal than magnets? Strong magnets. They won't go together when you turn one around. Yeah! Here's an old tin can with a lid too. Let's get sculpting. Tin on timber, magnets on tin. This one has its north pole towards me. And this one has its south pole towards me. The metal lid goes on top of the magnets. Now here's the really creative bit. I pick up a few metal nuts and start building a shape here on the top of the lid. The magnets underneath make the nuts stick together. Wild, huh? There, an arch. But why stop there? How about a tail? Looking good. When a metal comes into contact with a magnet, it becomes a magnet too. Each nut has had its atoms realigned to face in the direction of the magnetic field surrounding the two magnets underneath. The further Jordan builds away from the base magnets, the weaker each new magnet will be. OK, now to put my sculpture on display in the house. Oh no! It's not supposed to be an abstract artwork. Oh well, Dad can clean it up. Hmm, sailing a bit too close to the wind there, I think, Jordan. Oh, I love sailing, wind in my hair, waves slapping against the boat. Makes me wish I was a boat builder like Nizreen. I think boats are so beautiful. I love the way they bob up and down all day. Saif and I have made our own little boats out of drink cartons. Oh no! It tips over as soon as it hits the water. Back to the drawing board, I think. Come on, Saif. This time we'll join our mini boat to a big one. We get some sticks and lay them across our big boat and our mini boat and take them across from one side to the other. We'll put another stick at the back of our boats and take them up. That's one super looking to haul boat. Now we'll do one for Saif, cause I'm going to challenge him to a race. I think mine's a winner. Okay, let the big boat race begin. Ha, Saif thinks I'm going to lose. Yes, they're off and racing and they're not tipping over. It's a boat building triumph. Ms. Reen's one hulled boat tipped over easily because its centre of gravity was very close to the sides of the boat. But when Nizreen added an extra hull, the craft's centre of gravity moved further from its outside edges. That means you'd need a much bigger wave to tip the two-hull boat over. Oh no! Saif's boat is getting ahead! Oh, I lost! But at least our boats didn't tip over, which is more than you can say for Saif. There goes Nicole in a super bouncing ball. Wow, look at it go. But she won't give me a turn. Hey, I'm going to make one and trick her into swapping. Here's all my stuff. First, a plastic garbage bag to protect the table. That'll keep Mum happy. Now into a jug goes a glass of water, followed by two spoonfuls of the laundry powder borax and stir it in. A good squirt of glue into this bowl here. A dash of food colouring, Nicole's favourite colour, red. And stir well. Great! Now in goes the dissolved borax. Yes, it's getting thicker. Touch more liquid. And my gloop is taking shape nicely. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, yes. Now onto the plastic so it can dry out for a few minutes. That's long enough. Now squish it. Roll it. Punch it. Squish some more. Good, it's nearly in a ball shape. Now for the drop test. Cool! It bounces! 
Enough to fool Nicole, at least. Damon's ball gets its bounce from the glue. But it's the borax that holds the glue together in the ball shape. The glue is called a polymer and the borax a cross-linker. Put them together and you've got a ball with real bounce. Have a try with my bouncing ball, Nicole. Yeah, I've got her ball. Pretty good, eh? I think Nicole prefers my homemade super bouncer. Actually, I think I prefer it too. Thanks, Nicole. This little beauty is mine. Nice work, Damon. Perfect design and works like a charm. Rather like Zach and Daniel's teepee, wouldn't you say, Dana? We're almost there. We said we'd build a tent with attitude. Unlike the girls and their pathetic pop-up number, who needs them? In fact, we'll make a door to keep them out. Sticks through here and here in the traditional manner. There, a teepee to keep out unwanted visitors. Great, let's get inside before the rain comes. Yep, great design. Better still, not a girl in sight. Good work, guys. You've certainly come up with an excellent teepee design. Used by the Native Americans as a house, the cone shape of the teepee enables the inhabitants to light a fire and not get smoked out. The smoke goes out the top. Teepees are also designed so that if any rain does get in, the water runs down the side poles, keeping everyone inside nice and dry. Bet those girls wish their tent was as good as ours. Hey, what's going on? Oh, the rain's come. <laughs> it's Carrie Ann and Olivia. <laughs> but the joke's on them, because our brilliant design is rainproof. Yep, looks like it's girlproof too. Girlproof, excellent. I'm off to join the boys. And I'd rather head for the girls' tent. Far more civilised. See, See you next time. time.